The program to develop a sixth-generation fighter has become one of the main guidelines for the United States, designed to determine modern warfare tactics. Its concept is based on synthesizing lessons learned from past conflicts, anticipating emerging threats, and regularly striving for innovation. In this video, we will try to inform you as much as possible about what is currently known about the next generation of air dominance. In 2017, the Chinese Army acquired a new toy, the J-20 Mighty Dragon Stealth Fighter, as the world's first stealth aircraft developed outside the United States. Its arrival rightly alarmed those who called it the end of the American monopoly on stealth technology. However, while China struggled to catch up with the capabilities of the F-22, the United States was not sitting idly by. Since 2013, they have been actively working on one of the military's most ambitious aviation programs, the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD. In the same year, DARPA Director Arati Prakar stated that the U.S. had begun studying an air dominance initiative for millions of aviation enthusiasts worldwide. This sounded like the beginning of the countdown to something cool because the new aircraft was supposed to receive not only the most powerful engines but also the best sensors, artificial intelligence integrated into everything happening in and around the cockpit, as well as a swarm of manual drones playing the role of loyal wingmen. In 2016, representatives of the U.S. Air Force joined DARPA research by rolling out the Air Superiority 2030 plan. In it, they noted the need for a family of systems, but its central part was the PCA, or penetrating counter. Two years later, Air Superiority 2030 acquired a more menacing but already familiar name, NGAD, and work on the program began to move at an accelerated pace. The fifth generation's capabilities focus on survivability in air-to-air -air combat, anticipated anti-access area denial environments, ground support attack, and adaptation to future threats. The initial focus on the role of air superiority shifted from close-range air combat, rarely seen in modern conflicts, to include ground support, cyber warfare, and even space warfare. At the same time, the potential for using beyond visual range BVR capabilities and air-to-air -air missile capability remained important for the military now with the added flexibility to perform both manned and fully unmanned missions. When the American sixth-generation fighter was just beginning to enter the concept stage, DARPA considered combining the efforts of specialists from the U.S. Air Force and Navy. However, it was soon recommended that these branches of the military develop their fighters separately. Rumors suggest that DARPA management decided to kill two birds with one stone by stimulating friendly competition between the services and getting two excellent new generation devices instead of one. Thus, the Air Force began developing the NGAD, and the Navy plunged into its own FXX program. Despite ongoing hypersonic and missile programs, stealth remains a key factor in the future success of the U.S. Air Force. Although it's still difficult to say how realistic it will be to make the sixth generation even more stealthy, since even the F-22 Raptor was practically invisible on enemy radars, not to mention the later F-35 Lightning II. According to experts, the F-22 has some of the most impressive stealth characteristics, with its radar return resembling a small marble on an enemy radar. The only thing that really lets the Raptor down is its cost, therefore the first priority of NGAD specialists is to ensure that the sixth generation receives the best technology available without emptying the pockets of American taxpayers. At the same time, the estimated additional costs of the U.S. Air Force for the NGAD program from fiscal years 2024 to 2027 will be more than $1.7 billion. The price of one futuristic fighter, according to a statement by the Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall, will be multiple hundreds of millions. But let's leave money issues aside for now and move on to the possible future characteristics of this aircraft. Modern fighter engines operate best at a single point in the flight envelope, so the sixth generation can acquire a variable cycle, thereby ensuring maximum efficiency at any speed and altitude. This also ensures improved range, faster acceleration, and greater subsonic cruise efficiency. 
the engines will be configured to act as turbojet engines at supersonic speeds while operating as high-bypass turbofan engines for travel at lower speeds. Teams from General Electric, with their ZA-100 engine and Pratt & Whitney, with their SA-101, are working on the Adaptive Engine Transition Program under the offices of the U.S. Air Force. However, they tend to integrate it not only into NGAD fighters, but also into the existing F-35 fleet.